In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little dogs or puppies. And the one I'm going to be making is this cute little one. The exact same color, green, lime green, with the blue nose and pink, I mean blue eyes and pink nose. So what we're going to do first, you're going to also need a holding instrument, whether that's a hook or anything else, that's okay. What do you want to do first is you want to start with a single rubber band and you're going to loop it around four times around your hook. Take another single, loop around four times around your hook. Then you're going to take two single white rubber bands and you're going to pull those rubber bands right onto your single rubber bands like that. The two single rubber bands. You're going to loop it onto itself. That'll be the puppy's paws. And you're going to go take two more. We're going to make the legs now. You kind of kind of pull the paws and center it there and then another two single and that'll complete the pause and we'll do this four times and once you're done with that just put it to the side it won't come off your hook just put it to the side I mean it won't come apart um, do that four more times take two singles and wrap it around individually four times around your hook two three four take a uh, two single whites and we're going to scooch it right onto that the two single rubber bands hook it onto the hook Creating the front paws and for the back paws I'm going to add some color and if you want to add some colors like me you can so let's finish the front paws here so that's the front paws the second one and the back one here I added a green green into his little paws. So we're going to take two single rubber bands, wrap it around four times. Take two whites. Actually we can take two greens if you want. Whites is fine too. Take two greens and make his foot there white. This paws will be green. Loop around. And some whites for the rest of his foot. And another set of two whites. So that completes one hind leg there. So two rubber bands wrapped on four times for the paws and then one, two, three sets of two rubber bands. Set those aside. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Green. And really, you can do whichever color you want. I'm just doing it this specific color. You can also do brown. If you have brown, I don't have brown, so we're doing green. The green turned out really cute, so did the pink, so. And I have more green. So I'm doing green for you.
in the last set for his hind legs here. So there you have it, the hind legs, and we'll put that aside for later. And now we're going to do his eyes. And the eyes that I'm going to do is going to be like the penguin's eyes, kind of make it dough-like. So we are going to loop your blue rubber band four times, take a single white, I'm going to wrap it around one side of the pupil once, um, twice, and then wrap it around the other side twice like that. And we're going to repeat it for the other eye. One, two, three, four. Take another single white, wrap it around one, two in between, and then go to the other side, wrap around twice. And there are the eyes. And now we're going to bring it right onto a single green because his face is going to be green up near the eyeball there so we're going to take a single green rubber band put it on your middle finger to hook it and we're going to scooch everything in that order onto that green rubber band and just do it kind of slowly try to keep the order if not Fix it. On the other side, there's one side successful. We're going to do the other one, scooch it down. And if this is too fast, go ahead and pause it and finish up your eye, or just keep right along with me with the transfer. Sometimes it gets a little hard. Just pinch it over. Oops, missing one eye here. One eye part. And if you're done with this eye area here, you can move forward by fast forwarding a little bit and then transferring onto your hook. So we don't lose our eye here. Okay, now we can do the little nose. So we're going to take a single pink, we're going to loop it around your hook four times, and then we're going to take two single whites, we're going to stretch it out a little, double it, hook it, and then pull those pink onto that rubber band. We can also this do this on the loom. You can do it on the loom. But I'm going to do it on here, the hook, and then we're going to take a single white and it's going to go right in the face area near the cheek. So I'm going to use white, a single white, and we're going to transfer all that onto that right white rubber band. It should be pretty easy here. Just pinch it and grab it over. And there's this little nose. And you can put it to the side. And now we're going to do the ears. These floppy, kind of looks like a little cocker spaniel. So we're going to do these floppy ears. And we can do a little tail. You can do as long as you want, as short as you want. And the tail kind of goes which way it wants. This one is lying to the side and this one is kind of sticking up, making it a little playful. So for the ears, we're going to start with a loom using the top and for the, all the animals that I do, I make it in this loom configuration. So for the ear, I'm going to take a single green and put it in that diamond formation. And then I'm going to go down with single um, rubber bands three times around one side. And then I'm going to go single rubber bands three times 
on the other side. And then I'm going to take another single, double it, and I'm going to stick it right on this end peg there. That's what you have so far. I'm going to take another single rubber band that's not so stretched out, that's pretty small, and we're going to put it on there from this peg to this peg. I'm going to take another one, we're going to double that one and put it on this peg to that peg. So that's what you have for the ear so far. And now we're going to take a single white and put it from the top peg to the second peg, kind of giving it a little color. Not much inside the ear, but just a little something, a little touch of color. So now we are going to bring that, this, the two rubber bands that are on these two hook, the one that we double, we bring the top up to create the triangle, and then we're gonna just loop it up like there. And now we're gonna loop the rest of the rubber bands and bringing it onto itself. You can start on either side. This is gonna make our dog's ear very floppy. Go in order, making sure you see teardrops. And here I missed one, so that's how we check. We look to make sure there's teardrops coming down. And the last one, loop it onto that top middle peg. And just go ahead and take the back of your hook. And take your ear off of the loom. Now we have a nice floppy ears for your puppy, your dog, for the Cocker Spaniel. There you go. And now we're going to make another one. Same thing. Take a single green, make a triangle. And then bring three down on either side. And we're going to take a single, double it, and put it across these two pegs. Take a one that's not stretched at all. Put it on these two pegs. And then we are going to double it and put it on the second peg from the top. Put a white from the top to the second pin there. Bring it up to make a triangle and loop that white on through there. And now we're going to finish hooking either side you want. Make sure you reach in inside the holding rubber band, creating the teardrops. Doing one side at a time probably be less distracting than trying to do both. So I'm going to do one side at a time this time. Making sure there are teardrops and unhook your ear. And putting it on your hook, your other hook. There's your second floppy ears. And now we can make the tail. And for the tail, I did white at the tip here. So I'm going to take a single rubber band and loop it around four times. 
take a green, I took, gave it some color, and I'm going to double it, grab it with my hook, and move those four rubber bands right onto my hook. Take another white, again, double it, get it onto my hook, and transfer. And we can do that one more time for the tail to be a little longer. And if you want it longer than that, just keep going the same process, taking a single rubber band, double it, and pulling it through. And then try not to twist it because then the tail gets twisted. So I'm going to take my hook out here and so it's not twisted. Now I'm going to take a single, this will hold it, so before we put it on the body for later, take a single, don't double it, and just pull it through, and that will hold a tail for later, like that. Okay, put it aside, and now we're ready to do the whole face and body. So from the top of the head, we're going to do, I'm going to use him as reference, two single rubber bands, and you can start on either side. Um, I'm going to go to the left, so I'm going to go two down with the green, and then two whites for the cheek down there, and we're going to push the all important, the chin area here, just making sure we're in order and pushing it down so that way it doesn't overlap, make it easier later to unhook. On the other side, just work down two pegs for green and then a white or two single whites for the chin areas there. Now we're going to work on the center of the face. I'm going to take three single rubber bands to make his forehead a little fluffier, bigger. And I'm going to put it from the top peg to the next peg down there. And we'll just do two whites and another two white to the chin. There. And make sure you push that chin rubber band down and don't overlap it. And now we're going to continue with white for the rest of his body. So we're going to take white from there to there. Working on one side, we're going to go two more down. Actually, I'm going to just go one down. And then since my puppy here has a little bit of color in his back, I'm going to do green on the side. there like that so I have two whites down and green all two rubber bands so there I'm going to work on the other side from the chin to the other side and then two down with white and then a green or whatever color you want to do and then we're going to take greens to his bottom there. That's what you should have so far. And now we're going to work on the center of the body. And here I have a little bit of green under on his chest there. So if you want, you can use your different color or your green if you're following me from the chin to the center and then the rest will be white and you can use more than two if you want but I'm just going to do two all the way down to his bottom again two rubber bands at a time okay now I'm going to do his legs and here I have 
actually no we just did we we did the leg so we're gonna put it on grab your leg that you already made sorry if I go out of frame because I can't see the camera there is one leg the second leg that we made prior put it on the leg area there then we're going to take the arms actually we're going to do the arms later because we have to do it a little different we can put the nose on and the nose will go on the third peg down from the top like that and center it and we can put on the ears here Take the ears and put it on the ear pegs near the top of the head. Puppy have floppy ears, you can adjust it later. The other side. Pull it out and make sure you get it all on that peg. Okay. And the eyes on the second two pegs from the top. And spread them out when you get them to make sure we have all the eyes situated. So there's a puppy doggy so far. And now we are going to um, do the holding rubber bands. And we're going to take a green to hold the belly here. Triangle like that. And a white for his bottom of his chest there. And then we're going to take two more for the face. One around the eye and one around the nose creating those triangles. And then we're going to do a capping rubber band on his bottom here. And we're going to do that three times. One, two, three. There. And now we're ready to unhook. So we're going to reach under the capping rubber band here. You're going to go under the capping and find the two top rubber bands, which should be the white ones, to go up the belly. Push down the next two top rubber band. Should be the ones that are going to the right. If it goes to the left, that's okay. Take it there and hooking it onto itself. Keep going up. You can go up your sides first and stop at the shoulders. So I'm going to pull the leg out here, grab the bottom two rubber bands, pull it up, push everything back, grab the bottom two, creating teardrops along the way. Okay, now we're here to the shoulders. We're gonna grab our puppies, our dog's front paws here. We're gonna put it through the loop of the rubber band that we already made. We're gonna grab, get in there, grab the shoulder area and pull the arms right through and then looping the rubber band on the chin peg there. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Take our arm, put our hook through the two loops there, pull out, 
the let me turn it this way so I can see pull out the shoulder rubber band there came off my hook that's okay my pin um, pull it on and bring it onto the chin peg there I'm going to put this right back on my peg okay that are those are my doggy or puppy's paws and now I'm going to work up the center of the body so starting at the bottom creating teardrops coming up my body and finally bringing that little color right there up the middle of his chest area and now we're going to unhook reaching in the chin peg and grabbing the top two which should be the ones that are going up don't break your rubber band the going up to the nose area And once you pull it, you can kind of see the um, teardrop forming. That's good. So we're we'll bringing it up to the nose, the center of the face there. Now we're going to bring, reach in, grab the next two rubber bands, which should be, for me, the one on the right. Yep. Saw the teardrop. And then the last two reach inside and grab, put it back onto itself and then work on this either side of the face going up. You're going to reach in, my camera stops there, pulling the two rubber bands, bottom rubber bands, and pulling it onto itself. And then pull the ears back, reach up, There, and now you're going to do this side. Now we're going to do the center of the face. Pulling it onto the forehead there. And we're going to check to make sure everything has teardrops. And that looks good. And now we're ready to take our little puppy off the loom. And we're going to take um, a holding rubber band to hold all our puppy together and reach in the forehead all the way inside. Grab that holding rubber band and creating that slip knot. If you have to, guide it to the top of the head. If you want a bow, you can use a different color for the slip knot. You can even use two colors and you can create a bow later. But let's take our puppy, our doggy, off the loom. Go ahead and using your hook to help a doggy kind of looks like a little other animal right now and we're gonna adjust him really adjust him bring his paws forward and bring out his eyes his other eyes adjust his ears so he can flop down 
like a puppy. He kind of looks like a bunny too. But mess around with him. Bring out his doggy nose there. Not too much. And you just keep adjusting him because eventually, like you're any other rubber band, you just gotta keep pulling and tugging to get him in the right position. Here's he's becoming the shape that you want. You're gonna get in back here and get his tail in. So what you're gonna do is put your hook in here, turn him around, put your hook in, grab your tail, put it through the two the loops here, and fish it through and Kind of slip knot, push his tail through. And don't pull it too much because it'll separate from the body. Kind of let it go where it wants. There's this cute little tail, and there's your puppy. Again, you can adjust him, make him sit. It'll take a little bit of adjusting to pull his arms and adjusting his ears. And you can tuck this in the back if you don't want it like a charm. Just go ahead and pull it through. You can hide it later. But just keep pulling and adjusting him and putting his arms together. Eventually you'll get him to look like my other little puppy here. There's your puppy and doggy. Thanks for watching.